it's here. It's finally here. I feel like this is one of my most anticipated perfume releases of the year. Today I'm gonna be letting you know all my thoughts on the new Billie Eilish perfume. This is Eilish number two from Billie Eilish. This is her second perfume release. Last year, around this time, she came out with Eilish, the first one, and now we have a second. And when I saw pictures teased of this darker bottle, this moodier vibe, I was beyond excited, okay? So I'm gonna let you guys know all my thoughts on it. I got this in the mail yesterday, so I've had about a day to wear it, to test it, that type of stuff. So it's a little more than just a first impressions, but sometimes things take a little bit more time or you can kind of get more from a fragrance over time. So just keep that in mind. And real fast, before we get into all of the details and all of the stuff, I do want to mention that I started a fragrance channel, you guys, a specific just fragrance channel. So if you want to go subscribe to that, I will leave it down below. I know I'm uploading this here, but for one, that channel's not monetized yet. So that's one reason to be frank with y'all. But also last year when I did my review of Billie Eilish, like a lot of people saw that video. So I thought it would make sense to have the other Eilish video on this channel as well. So if you like fragrance content, you like all things scent, definitely go check that channel out and subscribe. I'm going to be posting over there and eventually all of my perfume content will end up over on that channel instead of this one. All right, enough of that. Let's get into this fragrance. This launched on the 18th. I bought it off of her website. There was a tiny bit of like a glitch with the website. Like it was supposed to go live at like nine, I think, but I don't know if it was just a lot of traffic or what, but by the time the website was actually working, I think it was more like 9.40, 9.30 or so. Honestly, not a big deal. Just thought I would mention like all the details. It came exactly like the first one in a mailer box like this. And then the actual fragrance box is the same except black. And you've already seen the bottle, but this is the exact same bottle. Like everything is the same. It has eyelash on the side. The top comes off in the exact same way. The bottle looks the same, but it's just in this really nice, like charcoaly gray black color and it is metal and heavy. I would say this actually is a little bit heavier than this one, but not by much. When the first fragrance came out, this sold out so fast. Like, because I think it was her debut, it's obviously Billie Eilish. Like, everyone loves Billie Eilish. She has tons of fans and this sold out very, very fast. I was very happy to get my hands on it. But this fragrance, as I'm filming this video, is still available on the site. So they definitely had enough product, which is really awesome. This is a 3.4 ounce bottle or 100 mil and it retails for $72, which is $4 more than the original. That one retailed for 68, but I think that's just kind of how price increases are going with everything, like literally everything now. I'm gonna read you some of the stuff on the website. It says, an alluring aroma which opens with the freshness of Italian bergamot and apple blossom. It flows into a woody, earthy spiciness of papyrus and black pepper with a contrast of wild, wet poppy flowers. A base of woody Palo Santo and ebony are expertly wrapped in a metallic, nuanced veil of skin musk. The imagery for this was definitely darker and moodier. Like I said, it's her in the rain. She's like soaking wet and all black. Like I was excited. And I'm super happy to say that I really quite enjoy this fragrance. This is definitely a very unisex fragrance. Obviously all fragrances can be worn by anyone, but in terms of actually like scent profile, I don't feel like this leans too masculine or too feminine. I really like a unisex scent. That's some of my favorite stuff. I really like woody scents. So I was really excited for this and really was hoping it would be right at my alley. And I'm happy to say I quite like it. It is very unique for a celebrity scent. I find that on paper, it comes off maybe a little bit more masculine than it actually does on my skin. Upon first sniff, I get something different definitely woody and a little bit citrusy and I pick up a lot of like pine like almost like pine trees to me that's what I get from it on my skin as it wears I start to get like a little bit more sweetness coming through I'll get into more full comparisons a little later but I do find there is a little bit of something similar but they're by no means versions of each other or anything like that it's its own separate fragrance and I honestly don't know it'll be interesting to see how everyone else experiences this fragrance but I do feel like these are like different people because this is so sweet and this doesn't have that sweetness and again leans definitely way more to me unisex and maybe even a little bit masculine it has something a little bit heavy I get something like resinous and ambery as it sits on my skin there's no amber listed in here but I get something almost 
toasted, which I really love. I love that toasted quality in a lot of scents, and that's usually what happens when ambers are in perfumes, when I like the amber that's in perfumes. So I really like that. There's something almost kind of smoky and incense-y as well going on as I wear it. There's definitely lots of woods going on too, and there is this powdery spiciness to it. So I think for some people it's gonna read pretty cologne-y, um, but I feel like it's more than that. I feel like the woods in here are a little bit more, and I'm really happy with this especially for the price point and the fact that it's a celebrity fragrance like I feel like it is a lot more unique than I was expecting and I don't know if it's going to be like as mass appealing as a lot of celebrity scents tend to be but I really like that about it I like that it has perspective I like that it's a little bit different I really quite like it it has me really excited to see even I know this just came out but you know what else she'll come up with and makes me want to follow her next releases and future releases as well the fragrance notes on Fragrantica list vanilla and I feel like there is just the tiniest bit of that in here but I didn't see that listed on the actual website I didn't pick up anything really metallic or even necessarily wet I guess there is like an earthiness to it and like a smoky woody incense and I could see that being a little bit wet smelling but I don't necessarily get anything metallic it's really more of like a woody spicy slightly smoky resinous pine kind of scent with a little bit of citrus as well. So I quite like it. I feel like the best comparison I can give to this, if you like commodity fragrances, I have a whole video dedicated to commodity, so I'll leave that down below. But I feel like if you like a lot of the commodity scents, this falls in line with that. I don't think there's anything that's an exact dupe, but I feel like their line is very unisex and that's like a niche brand. So I think it's really cool that we're getting a bit more of like a unique profile, scent profile, at least again for a select celebrity scent in this perfume and I feel like if you like those like woody unisex fragrances and you're into commodity this might be one for you to go smell and check out. As for the original I feel like over time this has grown on me. This is a very sugared vanilla scent. I think it's the red berries in here that really just send it into a very sweet zone for me and that's something that I didn't love. Um, it also has some spices which I do really like and I think add a really nice uniqueness to it but it's just really sugared in a way that I wasn't expecting. I was hoping for more of like a creamy vanilla in here, but I will say over time it's grown on me definitely. And I do really enjoy these together. I think they pair so nicely because this is so woody and doesn't have that sweetness. And this has like an overabundance of sweetness. I feel like when they're together, this kind of balances it out. And I like a heavy perfume. Like I can go bold and sweet and strong. And I feel like together they kind of do that for me. So I think probably my favorite way is going to be to wear these together actually. I think this definitely adds what I'm missing from this fragrance. The number two adds the interesting kind of full bodiness to this perfume that I felt like I was missing before. So I really like that they're like coming together for me. I'm trying to keep this video short. I don't have too much else to say. The only other thing, I mean, I haven't had this for a ton of time, but I feel like for as woody as this is, I do feel like it wears pretty softly on my skin. I've been spraying it directly on my skin and haven't had a ton of wear time with it on my like actual clothes, but I do feel like it softens really nicely on my my skin and it's not overpowering but I also feel like it's not super projecting it's not like super dense in the way that some other like thicker fragrances can be even though the notes are a little bit heavier if that makes sense so I do find I need to like touch up with it and I don't smell it a super long time but I'll have to keep you updated on like true longevity as I continue to wear it and wear it in different conditions but that is something I definitely noticed I was expecting this to really be strong and like project on my skin based off of like the smell on Paper, but I find that it, it really softens up quite a bit over time and so that might be a positive or negative depending on if you want a really really strong fragrance but I feel like for the price point it's really good I really like it I love that it's woodier I like that it's a little bit more edgy and yeah that's where my feelings are right now I'd love to know if you guys picked this one up if you have it what are your thoughts let us know down below hopefully this will be coming to Ulta soon she did this last time where she launched it on her own website but then it came into Ulta so I have a feeling this will be there eventually if you don't want to buy it online and not smell it first be looking out for it on Ulta because I think that's where it'll go but yeah I'm gonna leave it here thank you guys so much for watching again if you like fragrance content you want more scent videos in your subscription feed definitely go check out my other channel it is linked down below and other than that I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye